Hi, this is Don, and I want to take a couple of minutes to show you how to use the built-in stat crunch to solve a confidence interval problem in my stat lab. In this problem, we're given the raw data, 12 data points, and we are to assume the population is normally distributed. They want you to calculate the mean and standard deviation which you can do using StatCrunch, pretty straightforward. We're going to click on the icon there and open in StatCrunch. And here we have StatCrunch with the data already entered for us. Let's go to Stat, Summary Stats, and a column. And I'm going to select the variable column and I'm going to check and see what we have to offer there, the n, the mean, the variance, standard deviation, and so on. So we'll have pretty much everything we need. So I'm just going to click on Compute, and there we have the summary statistics, which include the mean and the standard deviation. And I think if we go back here, you'll see that that is the answer that they're looking for, 2.33 for the mean, and 1.12 for the standard deviation. Okay, I'm going to close that, and we're going to now solve for the 90% confidence interval for the population mean. Go back to stat. We have to make a decision here. Do we use the Z distribution or the T distribution? Well, the answer to that is the fact that in this case we only have 12 data points that means we are in less than 30 and so we need to use the T distribution this is a one sample with data and again we need to select the data in that column label variable 1 we want a confidence interval and it needs to be 0 0.90 90% Click on Compute, and we get the results. Lower limit of 1.753, upper limit of 2.14. So let's go back and see how that compares to the answer. They rounded to two decimal places. But that's 1.75 and 2.91. So that's all there is to it.